wild times. It's the wild times. It is a Sunday. I had four beers so far, and it's not even that late in the day. I don't care. Who's who's judging? Uh, this is the Wild Times uh, podcast. Boy. Yeah, Rob's <laughs> drinking. Rob's <laughs> drinking. I like it. Peter's got coffee. Um, oh, very good. Booze. Very good. Wonderful. Well, that is the Wild Times episode number... Peter, any 91. idea? 91. 91. Episode I number 91. I am your host, Forrest Galante, the broologist. Joining me is the ever lovely Retep, the professor, PhD in podcasting. How are you, Retep? Doing great. It's uh, the weekend, having a little straight vodka in this glass. Gross. And uh, no, just excited to have good. some fucking great guests on and uh, to see you guys. Makes my day. Yeah. Cheers, mates. Very nice. You know what, Forrest? Just and get me. Get always, right to the guests. Yep. Just get right to the guests. Good no point. Yeah, nobody me. cares. Yeah. All right. So joining us today, there's a homeless person and a, uh, and a fitness model from Instagram. We have my good buddies, the, the, the two and only, the kings of pain, Rob and Adam. What's going on, guys? Oh, yeah. How's it going? How are you? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's, yeah. there's the audience. They were late to the party. Oh, I love it. Um, no, but so anybody that doesn't know, Rob and Adam are two buddies of mine. I've known them for a couple of years now. What, three or four years at least. Um, yep. They are wildlife nutheads. They do much stupider, crazier shit than I do, and we're going to get into that. Uh, they are the co-hosts of History Channel's Kings of Pain. What does that mean, guys? <laughs> Well, I'm, I don't know if we're the kings of pain or the animals are. <laughs> like, we haven't quite uh, determined that yet. So for those that may, on our podcast, if, if, you've ne- if you've never seen the show, describe it. Describe what you guys do, because on face value, it's, it's, lun- it's absolute lunacy. <laughs> well, I don't know if you've ever heard of Justin Schmidt, and if you're actually watching the podcast, that's his book. Right there in the corner, the sting of the wild. Oh, cool! Uh, this dude was a, an entomologist, a, a bug guy, and he got what bitten, stung by, or stung by around seventy or eighty species of wasps, bees, ants, and he made a pain index from like one to four. So you think like a honeybee? That's a, a two. It's like in the middle of the road, and then you got some bastards like you know the tarantula hawk, that's a four, or the warrior wasp. You know, yeah. actually, did he do the he did the warrior wasp? Didn't he, Adam? Uh, he did. Yeah, he did. He yes. didn't do the execution wasp, but he did the worry wasp. Yeah. So it's like a okay. one to four pain index. Okay. And history thought, well, why is it one to four? And why uh, why is it only bugs? And so they came up with this crazy show idea. And uh, so basically we're building a new pain index. Um, it's got three different categories as well. Okay. So, so yeah, go ahead, Patrick. I was going to say, so obviously you guys are wildlife enthusiasts. I mean, we're, we're going to get into all the crazy shit you do. But there's, there's a scientific value to what you guys do, for sure. Yeah, we um, rate it in three different categories. So like intensity, duration, and damage. And it's like a uh, score out of 10 in each category. So it would be a total of 30. So pretty much if somebody gets bitten and stung or electrocuted, punched by any of these animals... Uh, they know what to expect from it, you know. If it's something like a, a scorpion fish or a lionfish, uh, if someone accidentally gets stung, they'll know, will have a fair idea of how bad it's going to hurt, how long that's going to hurt for, and ultimately what damage it's going to leave you. Uh, and I mean, it helps people, and I guess it'll help animals as well because if people that, see what uh, what it does to us, they'll leave it the fuck alone. That is right. useful information. That is, and I'll tell you why. I. I'll tell a story. I was in Panama. I was spearfishing with my buddy Adam, and we were poking around all these reefs, reefs, and we were looking for dog snapper, and we started seeing lionfish in the reefs, right? And they're, for those that don't know, lionfish in the Caribbean are invasive. They were introduced through the aquarium trade starting in South Florida, and they've spread throughout the entirety of the Caribbean, all the way through the Bahamas, Cuba, all the way down into Panama. So we're spearfishing this reef, and we're looking for dog, a dog snapper. I was about to say dog tooth tuna, I wish. We're looking for a dog snapper, and, um, and uh, Adam's like, dude, are you seeing all these, all these lionfish? I'm like, yeah, they're everywhere, man. It's fucked up. He's like, we got to start shooting them. I'm like, yeah, let's shoot them. Let's shoot them up. And so for anybody that doesn't know, lionfish is this beautiful, maybe, Peter, you can pull up a picture. They're this beautiful fish from the Indian Ocean in the South Pacific that has these big frills, and at the end of each frill is a very venomous spine. And I'm sure Adam and Rob can tell us more about that in a moment. 
but yes. um, we start we start shooting them up, and we're shooting one here, shooting one there, and I'm th- going to throw one in the boat, and sure enough, bam, right in the side of my thumb, I take one of these spines. Okay, now for those that don't know, and you guys tell me how right or wrong this is, uh, Adam and Rob, but every, I was like, we're nowhere near cell phone service, and e- everybody was like. You know, the, the Mexican, or the, sorry, the Panamanian fishermen we were with were like, oh, you're going to die. And I was like, excuse me? And they're like, you're going to die. And I was like, oh, well, this isn't good. And then, I, you know, Adam's like, I don't know, man. I've heard it's really bad. Like, might need to take your hand off. And I'm like, what? What is going on? Like, I know they're venomous, but they can't be that bad. And I had no idea. I didn't have this information or access to this information to know how bad it was, how long it was going to suck for any of it. And so this is a very long-winded way yeah. of saying... I think what you guys are doing is rad. Well, oh, real quick yeah, for us, here's a test of who's the tougher guy. Because they've, yeah. have you guys done a lionfish on your show? Yeah. Okay. okay. Forrest, what would you, and don't fucking say a two because they're here. What would you say <laughs> one to ten for pain? Just the pain index. Uh, what would you okay, say? no, and I'll, I'll get to the others. So pain like a, like a seven. I give it like a seven on the pain index. What nice. did you guys give it? Uh, probably six, close to that, eh? Six point seven five average between the two of us, man. Okay, <laughs> oh, that makes that. me feel good. It that makes me feel really good. It's All right. Yeah. So I mean, that, that means, yeah. I mean, look, there are so many factors that come into play with it. You know, how much venom's injected, how deep those spines mm-hmm. go. So everyone's uh, sting's going to be different. Doesn't necessarily mean they got a lower or higher pain, pain tolerance, but man, my hand wow. swelled up like that from it. Yes, mine too. Yep. And that's, I didn't know if Patrick was going to keep asking, but the duration for me was the bad part. The pain was like, this sucks, but it lasted for like three days. I couldn't close my, mm. my, I couldn't make a fist for nearly three days. I was taking, I was ODing on Benadryl to go to bed and like shoving my <laughs> hand in boiling hot water to try and neutralize it a little bit. <laughs> And Did that I, work? No, God, no. It didn't work. I think it made it much worse. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, anyway, that's, that sucked. But l- I guess back to, the, back to the point of doing this, this work, are you guys publishing this? Are you going to do a book? Is there going to be a list? Like, wh- how, how can I have access to this information without scrolling through History Plus or whatever the hell it's called in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> we do want to do a book. Um, right now it is... Uh, on the history's website, mm-hmm. I need to double check. Okay. It's still up. It should still be there. Um, that is a great question. Maybe we, Adam and I can put it on our Instagrams tonight. What about just uh, like a really spicy yeah. poster, like a really oh, cool? Man, I, the, I don't know. The you, poster looks yeah. dope. Actually. This is my yeah, office. The actual index. Oh, please don't unplug computer. Sick. Don't unplug. Don't unplug. There's my African animals poster. Okay, it's right oh, over sick. there. For those for those listening, this is oh, not yeah. worth tuning into YouTube for. Um, and uh, it. I would absolutely put a pain index poster like on my wall. This is not a laptop, by the way. It's a very old desktop that barely made it around that corner. Um, <laughs> but uh, I would absolutely put like a pain index poster up in my office. I think that would be super cool. I've got one. I've got one at my house printed out on canvas. It looks it looks sick. Like Dope. you can see little uh, animations of each animal. And I think uh, season one we did put like nineteen animals on it. Yeah. So there's yeah. like little outlines of. Nile monitors, bullet ants, and stuff. It looks sick. It's like Nineteen animals. What are you guys up to now? Because I know oh, you. I know fuck. you kept going with that. I know you're you're nuts. So what are you? How yeah. many animals are you up to? <laughs> For the pain index. Yeah. Um, we got we, stuff coming. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's it's it's, it's going to more the, than double. We'll yeah. say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. Nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you guys. I mean, I know just because I have friends that worked on season one. Um, what are you, is there a single moment from the first season of your show that you're kind of known for that went super viral or something just fucking crazy that our listeners need to check out? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was it? Articulated Python. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. What happened yeah, to that guy? Yeah. That was so a mistake. Tell us, okay, so tell us what we, happened. We for just those did a articulated Python story on the last podcast. I'm terrified of these animals. But anyway, please... <laughs> Please tell us more. Yeah. Tell, tell us what happened with the retic, and then everyone needs to go watch this online because it's fucking amazing. <laughs> Don't watch it if you're eating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not? Well, we're, we're in Bar Bali, and we're like, all right, we're going to put a, a decent sized reticulated python on the pain index, and we ended up catching a 16 footer. Wow. And we're like, oh, okay, this 
might be a bit too big. We <laughs> caught an eight footer first. We could have done that, and we were like, no, it's not big enough. <laughs> no, nope, not big enough. I wish we would have. <laughs> yeah. In, hind- in hindsight, yeah, that probably would have been a better option. But I was going first with the bite. We're, we're kind of discussing uh, to ourselves, we're like, how are we going to get it to bite? What if it doesn't want to bite? Like, do we get it by the oh, head? Oh, that and will get be no bite? issue. Oh, it <laughs> that will be no issue, sir. Yeah, I mean, as soon as that thing, like, I, I went up first and um, like took it out of the bag, and as soon as it was out of the bag, it was ready to go. And we're wearing like um, a face shield, so it didn't like, you know, because this thing's sixteen foot, it can launch like, you know, a third of its body. So it could have got us anywhere we uh, didn't want it to bite us. And we're wearing oh my groin God. guards as well. Yeah. Yeah. Most important, most, idea. most important thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, you, Rob had his on upside down because his testicles are apparently above his shaft. Hey, Peter, you too. <laughs> We've had this discussion. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it um it got me on the arm and uh, like ripped me open. I needed oh. stitches and staples. I'll see if I can show you the scar actually because it's still like pretty. We were on sacred ground <sighs> as well. Oh, oh shit! shit. Yeah. That is that is Ooh. holy shit! Yeah. That is gross. a fucking it go, scar. It goes up to about there. Oh my That's God. worse than God. your fucking motorcycle accident, Peter. <laughs> it it oh, really? really is, dude. When did you? Uh, so when did you film that one? Like how long ago? What was it? Two two years ago? That was Damn. May or June. That was June of 2019. Right. And, yeah. And that sheesh. scar is fucking scar. just <laughs> rocking, dude. Well, That's crazy. Rob got it worse than me. <laughs> Let me yeah, see your Yeah, right, Rob. Rob. Yours yours is permanent, right? Uh, yeah. Well. You know, Adam is leaking a lot of blood, and we are right outside of a uh, a Hindu temple. Mm. And apparently, you're not supposed to bleed on the ground there. I don't okay. know what the, the priest was there. I don't know what he think what he thought was going to happen with the giant python bite. <laughs> but uh, they're scrambling <laughs> right. to put a bunch of like banana leaves to catch all of Adam's blood. Oh and, wow! Uh, oh, I'm scared out of my mind right now because. I'm watching Adam just like he's got. So, so can I can I interrupt for one second? I'm just curious because I don't know the answer to this, and I I think our our listeners are going to be wondering as well. Do you both always have to take the bite or sting because you're averaging out the the index every single time? So there's no world in which you go, oh no no, I saw what happened to Adam. I'm no (laughs) fucking way. I'm out. I mean, yeah, there is. I mean, like it's never happened, but after the after the after the Python, I was like. Don't do it. Like you told me not. Yeah, yeah, no, don't do it, man. God, it's, yeah. it's fucked. Like it looked like I had prop chop on my arm. Like the doctor was right. looking at it. And like oh. this is. He's a doctor in Florida, and he's like, "This is what prop chop looks like." Jesus. But Rob so, did it. Sorry, Rob. So, yeah, keep going, yeah, Peter. Sorry. While he tells a story, can you pull up just so people can see? Because I don't think people understand the jaw morphology of these snakes and how terrible it is. So just look up reticulated python skull. So people watching okay. can see this, and then you'll understand why his Adam's arm looked like Swiss cheese. Um, yeah. You, well, yeah, the, like the crazy thing is that they said Rob got the worse end of it. So right. I, I, Let's hear so it. So what? What the well, fuck yeah, happens to you? Adam got a sick scar. Here we are, over two years later. He's got a badass scar. <laughs> yeah. You know, and uh, three years later, um, I, I went up next, and I was like, "Well, Adam's not dead." And I was peeing my pants a little bit, though. But uh, <laughs> yeah, see those teeth? That, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the, the, look on the bottom jaw, the top jaw. It's fucking insane. That is um, fucking crazy. They're all the way that they're shaped too. Just fucking hook into your arm, serrated. Boom! Like just dragging yeah. through the skin, man. Oh, the recurred. snake pulls backwards, yeah. and then you're you're stuck. Yeah, right. Unless it wants to let go of you. Fuck, um, man. Rob, man. all right, we got to get to the story. Let's hear it. Let's Absolutely. hear it. Edge of our man, seats. This thing, this thing bit me right <laughs> away. There's. This is pissed off now. Like, it bit out of and now it's pissed off. So uh, this poor snake is like, it's had it. It's, it. It gave me everything it's got. But it got a lucky hit on my ulnar nerve. And what that Ooh. is, if anyone here has ever hit their funny bone, that's your ulnar nerve. And you know Yikes. how bad that hurts. Yeah. And apparently, I didn't know this at the time, no one told me, it's the largest unprotected nerve in your body. And it's completely, like, at the base of your elbow, it's completely exposed. And nice. at least one of those teeth went right in there. And, uh, man, long story short, I have <laughs> severe permanent nerve damage. Oh, I've my. had surgery. I've had uh, 18% disability. There's nothing they can do about it, really. What, what is the man. disability? Are you able to use all your fingers? Do you, did you lose your grip strength? I lost uh, at least half of my grip strength, uh, half of the mobility. Oh 
Wow. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I'm lucky. A lot of people get like a, a claw hand where their pinky and ring finger just stay oh, curled yeah. up. I don't have that. But uh, like when you yeah. like when you fucking sleep on your arm or whatever, you wake up and and it's completely numb. It's probably like a permanent version, somewhat of that. One that happened to me when the uh, internet films oh, came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I thought that was your wrist. wrist. Yeah. Well, I, I've that's seen cool the. He still hasn't recovered. I, I saw the, <laughs> the. I've seen that episode, and you know, it almost looked to me like Adam. You know, you maybe like your elbow, like the actual bone, helped you out a little bit, and it hit you, Rob, in a in a slightly different spot. Totally. And your reaction, because I've seen all of them. I've never seen you immediately be like done. And you, yeah. it was just instant, man. That was fucking terrifying to watch. I was scared to move because I knew it was in something. I didn't know what <sighs> it was in, but I, I was afraid if I move, it was going to finish tearing whatever it was inside of. Oh, my God. But, uh, you guys are fucking yuck. nuts. <laughs> you know what the worst part about that bite was? I always correct people about this. Always. I always <laughs> have. But this one fucking time, I said fang instead of tooth. I don't know why. Ah. It's <laughs> it was like the, the adrenaline, the, you know, the shock. I was like, i got a fang in fang. I've got a fang in me. And then like afterwards, I'm like, why the fuck did I say that? Oh my God. It's, I mean, it it looks haunts like me. A fang. <laughs> did you get That's blown you up for like it though? No, I, I didn't actually, but I was just disappointed in myself. So I had, a, really I had a show me. premiere last night, right? This Mysterious Creatures show. And oh, I congratulations get, yeah. on that. Thank you very much. Thank you. I get chased around the woods by a black bear. Like literally at one point, it's like 15 feet away from my cameraman and I. And we're like full on spiked adrenaline, like huffing and puffing, like totally like this, this big male black bear, like chased, you know, like got defensive and chased us for like, I don't know, 30 feet. And... I walk back over and I'm taught explaining this to the whole team and I'm like, oh, this big bull black bear, right? Well, they're not called bulls. They're called boar black bear. Didn't even realize I'd said it. I'm like 12 out of 10 on adrenaline, you know, and I just said bull instead of boar. I got this email today. Somebody <laughs> went out of their way. I love, I love when people do this. Somebody went out of their way to find my, my website, send me an email through my, my server and say, I just want you to know I've watched every single one of your shows and I've enjoyed them all until last night's episode. And it's because oh how can a trained <laughs> biologist call a male bear a bull and not a boar? This is the most amateurish thing I've ever seen. You should be kicked off like this whole like ranting email. Wow. And I'm like, wow. people are insane. Yeah, like, people happens. are nuts, man. I said one word wrong because I had just been chased by a fucking bear. Yeah. And this guy's exactly. like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This guy, this guy's not for me any longer. So <laughs> Adam, next time that happens, here's what you do. And this is as uh, you know, the EP of Extinct or Alive, something Forrest would do. If you say Fang or something like that again, you just text the showrunner and say, hey, here's what we're going to do. You're going to cut away to Rob's reaction for two seconds, and I'm going to say the proper word, and you're going to cut it in, or right. I'm going to be a dickhead next time we work together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. All right. But I mean, yeah. I've actually still got the tooth, because one of them got stuck in my arm. I've still got, still got it at home. It's like that big. Whoa, and uh, I think shit. there's still a piece of one in my arm as well. That's but, uh, yeah, you I, guys. Um, it's like you've been I, I said war. it multiple times. That's the issue. So it was like <laughs> pretty tough cutting around that. <laughs> ah, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, People I mean, make yeah. mistakes. Who cares? Exactly. So yeah. what that I, I think what you guys are doing is nuts, by the way. I want to be clear. I think it's valuable, but it's fucking nuts. Oh, yeah. what, why, what, what? Where's the pleasure in this? Rob, the last time we hung out, remember we get, we went to that bar, the three of us, and that dive bar. Mm -hmm. Adam, you were blown away. You're like, no way. This is like a real American bar. There's a jackalope <laughs> on the wall. It's, yeah. it's legit. <laughs> um, and uh, Rob, you're like, this is my dream job. And I'm like, what's the matter with you? What do you mean this is your <laughs> dream job? Can you, can you guys explain that? Well, I mean... It is wearing on us. My God, we we have. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, uh, look at a picture of us now compared to season one. We are aged. We are significantly <laughs> aged. Um, I'm only 19 years old. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. <laughs> he's, le he's legal now, ladies. So. <laughs> oh man. Uh, well, I don't know about for Adam. I think Adam didn't realize what it was until he showed up to America. Like, oh, by yeah, the way, I'm going to show you're getting bitten. 
Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 they flew me to LA for a chemistry test, and um, I was like, I, all right, yeah. I thought it's a you know wildlife show, and I go over there. I'm like, oh, so what's the show actually about? They're like, oh, you're going to get bitten and stung by stuff. I'm like, ah, all right. I'm, in. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. yeah. No, for me, uh, I got my first animal wrangling gig on a show, ironically, about animal bites. It was like 2008. And I told my buddy, I was like, we should do a show where we get bitten by animals and rank it. No one's ever done that. People would mm. watch it. And I'm curious about these bites and stings. I really want to know, uh, you know, how bad some things hurt. And he's like, stay tuned. And maybe six months later, he called me. He's like, how do you feel about cobra venom in your eye? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. It's like really uh, bad, actually. Sounds you, great. No, my, my dumb ass being in my 20s was like, hell yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so uh, uh, basically, we filmed a pilot for another network, and two guys went to the hospital, and I had to go to the eye doctor, and uh, they basically <laughs> said, don't ever talk to us again. <laughs> they got a massive <laughs> hospital bill. <laughs> Jesus. God. So... Like, I was thinking about this, because the Super Bowl just happened a couple weeks ago, and Joe Burrow was the quarterback young guy, and I, I was just wondering as I was deciding which team I was going to bet on, okay, is Joe Burrow going to sleep tonight, right? Because, like, if, even if I know I have to wake up early, I'm not fucking sleeping. How do you get, like, what is it like going to bed the night before a shoot knowing that the next day you're going to potentially experience the worst pain of your life. Like, how the fuck do you deal with that? It's a good question. It, it, it depends what animal. Um, like, with, you know, certain things like the wasps, they're great because they hurt really bad, but then as soon as the sting is out, the pain's gone. So we look forward to them. We're like, yeah, easy one. <laughs> yeah. But then you start getting, like, you know, pretty, you know, bad ones, bad reputations and that, like, yeah. Wine you know, fish, scorpion, scorpion fish, fish and fish. yeah, Nile monitor and things like that. I don't want to talk about what we've just been through, but oh, <laughs> it was hard <laughs> waking up to a lot of them. Can we yeah. any <laughs> marks? Can you show us the marks and we'll try and guess? Wait, what wait, 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 wait a minute. You yeah, can't just can be baiting us like that. You got to hey, say what the they've animals been you guys up to just something. Took a bit Let's not get them in trouble. You know, <laughs> yep, this I'll just show you that. See that. That's Ooh, a hole like in a his arm. That is a hole. Yeah. Jesus. Looks like you got shot in the arm. Well, that, <laughs> yeah. that was well, almost. That well, was that, our last that's a clue. Bite, There's a clue to it oh, right there. Okay, got it. You guys <laughs> got hit with bullet. 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 bullet Awesome. No, yeah. No, no that's, we've done that's the first clue, but it's not right. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that, that would be the logical <laughs> thing, but it's not. Yeah. Wow. Maybe it's like a needle that shits the acid out. Oh, the bombardier. Bombardier. Yeah. Oh, bombardier no, we've never done it. I've wanted to, but I just I yeah. think it would be, I mean, it's One really cool, two. but I think it would be underwhelming because I don't think it will hurt that much. It would just be like a little, like, you know, oil spitting out of a pan, but. It yeah, could what if you put it on the camera close up, you know, the skin boiling a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. So I got to, I got to land. And th we said that before, though, where stuff's not going to be that bad. And then, you know, we're crying. So right. so I, my, yeah. my, I got a lame question. What's the opposite of that? What did you think was going to be super, like, horrible? And then you were like, oh, that wasn't that bad. Warrior was. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, but, that, but that, that was weird. That was a freak thing. Uh, so the warrior was supposed to be one of the most painful stinging insects. Um, it was like top of Schmidt's yeah. pain index. And yeah. And we got them. And they were stinging us. The stinger was going into us, but there was nothing was happening. We were getting little welts, but like absolutely no pain. And there was wow. we were switching out the wasps and just nothing. So mm, we couldn't wow. even rate them on the pain index. There was just nothing there. And mm, we oh, we don't know why. That's crazy. So like a zero stuff. on we like your a, guys is basically. What's that? Oh, sorry. So we like were, a zero on your guys's pain index, where it was we, like a four on that guy's. Well, we didn't yeah. want to rate it as zero because we felt like somehow we screwed up. Because you can't right. misidentify them. Like, they have this, right. like, armadillo-looking nest. We went 100 miles away and tried a whole nother nest. Like, one after another. Hmm. Dud, dud, dud. Wow. And none of them, none of them worked. Yeah, Adam we and I thought them. maybe they weren't defending the nest, so they didn't uh, inject venom. Hmm. That could be it. Or it's yeah, just, let's just blame it on global warming. I mean, it's got to be that. So that makes sense. Warming. That adds up. Yep. Yeah. 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 Everything is... <laughs> 
<laughs> we so, just talked you, about monitor lizards. So it was a cro what was it? What was the one that you talked about with uh, Barcheck? Oh, th there's no way these guys are taking a bite from a crocodile monitor. Oh, fuck you just, that! Oh, you don't <laughs> survive that. You don't. That's yeah. like, you don't. You don't walk away from that one going, "Oh, that's a four. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> they did a monitor that looked fucking terrifying, nonetheless. Yeah, you guys well, did. Yeah. Uh, was it a Nile monitor, or an Asian water monitor? I can't remember. It was a Nile, Nile, Nile yeah. monitor. An yeah. Asian, yeah. An, yeah, an Asian water monitor of that size would have yeah. like, no. done some damage. Messes up. But like the Nile monitors have sort of blunter teeth. But it, it did like, almost it, kill us, though. It, it did. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Okay, tell, I'll let tell you tell us, us about it. since you were driving. But, okay, so <laughs> it wasn't the actual Nile monitor itself. We got out on a boat, like this little uh, uh, tin boat. And I'm driving it, center console, but sort of actually it was more towards the back, man. Like the outboards are right behind yeah. me. Yeah. And um, we're at, like we're cruising down at, at daytime and it's all fine. We see Hippo. We're like, oh, how you going? Doesn't bother <laughs> us. As soon as the sun goes down, fucking the Hippos just went to town on us. We're like, uh, Rob grabbed a um, baby uh, Nile crocodile and we sort of parked up against the bank. And, uh, you know, he puts the crocodile back and we reverse and we're like, boof. I'm like, oh, shit, I've hit a log. I think oh, that ain't a log. Like this hippo, <laughs> boof, just hits the bottom of the boat. I'm like, fuck. Oh God. Like, starts fanging, like, you know, trying to get out of there. And we're going further down the river. We're like, all right, you know, that hippo's back there. We'll keep on well, going. Looking you couldn't for get this the motor monitor. started, remember? You couldn't get it started oh, yeah, back that's up. Because right. we had to cut yeah. it for the microphones. And you just see this giant head come up behind Adam. Huge. Oh and he's like, what, a foot from the back of the boat? And I yeah. was trying to yell at him, and it was like, there's nothing coming out of my voice. Like, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> well, as, as well, like, the scariest thing was, because they've got all the lights set up uh, on my face, uh, so the camera, the cameras on the camera boat can see me, I can't see anything in front of me, because uh, the, the lights are in my face. Right. From, like, from, from the steering wheel. So like, oh, shit. So we keep on going down. We're like, All right, we'll get to, uh, you know, where the Nile monitor is and, you know, see if we can grab it. As we go further down, there's just heads popping up all around <laughs> us. Dude. And it's a pretty, like, narrow river, right? It wasn't that, that wide. So there was, like, a fair amount of hippos in that small little area. And then they, like, hit us again. And the camera boat, I'm looking over the camera boat, I'm going like, what do I do? Like, do right. I keep going or do I, do I go back? Because these hippos are all around us. So I'm like, I'm swearing at the boat. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Like, do I keep going or what? They just like the turn locals around and are go, on that what? boat with, with firearms. We're, it's just us two on this boat that Adam learned to drive 20 minutes before this started, <laughs> right at sunset. Perfect. Good setup. <laughs> and, you can't see, oh and there's hippos don't really swim they basically run on the bottom yeah, and so man. you see this trail of bubbles like a world war like a world war two uh, torpedo coming at you dude mm -hmm. it's just like mm -hmm. bubbles and then bam bubbles yeah. <laughs> 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 man, but the, the camera boat oh. turned around and just went whoop and just drove off and they I'm didn't like, say a word to us didn't say a word and, just like they were like we're getting the fuck out of here and you guys <laughs> told me the last time we were all hanging out you're like and they didn't even get the shot right so like they, all this they, like Super exciting stuff happened, and they missed like the main thing. Yeah, they they got it. They got a couple of bumps and so, like mm -hmm. a couple of decent ones. But as I turned around, and was like trying to go back. One hits the back of the boat, and I turn around, and no joke, it's like mouth is like that, about two feet away from my That's ass. Insane. I'm like, oh That's... fuck! <laughs> yeah, you're literally yeah, dodging like... hippos. Did they? Did yeah. the camera team film when you guys met back up with them and started violently attacking them for leaving without yeah. saying anything? <laughs> I was pretty pissed off. That didn't make the edit, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I remember coming up that bank and I was like, like I was pissed off. I mean, I was just pissed off because like they they knew there was hippos in that in that river, but I mean, it's you know they were fine during the day, but as night came, they just changed. But and they they could have flipped that boat like it was nothing. You know, oh, yeah. Like it was absolutely nothing. So we nearly got killed looking for the animal that we we're going to get bitten by. So, so is, oh no, go ahead, Patrick. I no, was going to no. kind of change the topic because I had. A, I, I just wanted to ask real quick for us: yeah. is is that a thing that you've seen? Um, like that hippos get more aggressive at night? Uh, well, they're much more active at night, and uh, okay. hippos are. And I'm not trying to shit on anybody's parade here. But I've said this before, hippos are not aggressive, not even a little bit. They are territorial and they're defensive. 
They're a very Got nervous, it. very erratic animal. And when they can sink in deep water, they feel fine. They're confident. You can take a boat basically right over them. They're, they're chill. But at night, they come out to graze. They leave the water to go out on riverbanks to eat. And that's when they're, they're most vulnerable. They don't have the best eyesight. They're, uh, they're vulnerable to predators. And so they're just, they're these jumpy, nervous animals that weigh a ton or more. And, uh, and now they're even jumpier at nighttime because they know they're, they're coming out to graze and stuff. So it's just like, it's the worst time to be around hippos. I mean, it really is. It's just, yeah. they're Evidently. just, yeah, no, it's yeah. not good at all. Um, but I was going to say, so you guys said earlier, Rob, you said earlier that this was really starting to wear on you. I'm curious because it's one thing to take like the physical bites, right? That's, that's an injury. We know we heal up from those injuries. But you mm -hmm. guys are walking cesspools of chemical concoctions at this point that nature has thrown at you, right? Like how many different venoms, salivas, bacterias, uh, you know, poisons, everything have you guys taken into your system? And, and I'm not saying all this to be mean. I'm saying this because do you know, have you, has there been any research, like long-term effects of this stuff? Like what, you know, what can happen? Do you have any idea? I mean, are, are one of you going to have lizard people children? That's the big question here. Well, that'd be sick. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, that would be sweet. That's a whole new show. <laughs> but yeah, is there any, I mean, is there any concern of that? Is there any evidence of that? Any sort of long-term effects of all these different stings and bites and stuff? Well, it's definitely know. a concern. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Like, no. They're like, yeah. this is the first now time anybody's ever brought it up. <laughs> yeah. This is not good. I've never thought about it. Well, I mean, well certainly I, the I, more I, often you're exposed to any type of uh, venom or even protein, you're that much more likely to get an allergic reaction to it later. Mm -hmm. There's guys mm -hmm. that have mm -hmm. been bitten by, like, cobras or kept spinning cobras and been exposed to that venom, like a buddy of uh, Adam and I's. And then this guy was bitten by a helicopter, which is a South American water snake that on the worst day might sting a little bit. I've been bitten by it, didn't feel a thing. He got bitten by it and nearly died from allergic reaction. So, Interesting. Wow, yeah. That, that yeah, I mean, same thing could happen to us because we just keep exposing ourselves over yeah, and over. And we, and we never know if we're allergic to something until we get bitten yeah. or stung by it. Sure. And as well, like all these venoms in such a short amount of time, it's like, you know, it gets processed through the kidneys and we're like, our kidneys are probably copping a beating. I mean, my liver's already probably copped a beating from all the, from the alcoholism, but. Of course. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I, but that's I've fun. Mosquitoes bite me and then drop dead. Yeah. <laughs> it burst into either, flame instantly. Do either of you guys have like uh, a significant other? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm married. Yeah. Both of them. I got a yeah. girlfriend. Yeah. How, how do they, what do, what do they say when you're heading out to, to do the, the reticulated python. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> well, my wife's just happy I'm not doing anything stupider, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, you get bitten by animals? That's that's cool. I'm glad you finally settled down. <laughs> yeah, it, it depends. I mean, after after the first season, I think, like, when I, when, when I was doing, when we were doing the first season, it was, like, cool. They're like, oh, that's cool. They're doing this. Then what they saw, then when they actually watched it and saw it happen to us, they're like, Oh shit, boy! <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. you know all the other stuff that we're getting bitten and stung by. It's like there's a lot of pretty bad ones, and it's you know the the worry just goes up more and more because I guess the animals are getting beefier and beefier. So <laughs> yeah, after, do you, after do you the guys, python, do you guys was, rev each other serious. up? Yeah. So like when I when I'm hanging out with my buddy Adam, in particular, the guy I said from Panama. Like, anything he does, I have to do it bigger, better, faster, stronger. Like, and he's the same. So we just rev each other up the whole time. And that's why I've been bitten by sharks twice around Adam and so on and so <laughs> forth. And I'm not exaggerating. It's just every time we're together, we're just constantly at odds with each other, revving each other up. Are you guys, is that what's going on with you guys? You're like, yeah, dude, whatever, man. Just fucking reticulate bites and let's go. Like, it's not a big deal. <laughs> like, are you just hyping each other up? I mean, what, what's going on with that dynamic when one of you has been stung or bitten and the other hasn't yet? <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, you take it wrong. It's like a guilt. It's like a guilt thing. Like, if Adam were to get a really bad bite and then I get, like, a mediocre one, I feel, like, super guilty. <laughs> oh, interesting. Like, there's been times I'm like, I'm going back for a second bite, Adam. Yeah. Oh, not wow. fair. Yeah, well, you're oh, not oh, like, no. A true bud. 
<laughs> you are yeah, such yeah. nicer people than me and my Adam friend because I'd be like, ha ha, idiot! I didn't even feel it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we were we were in uh, Bolivia together, first mission of of, uh, of season one. Adam caught this sick anaconda. I mean, it was a Bolivian anaconda, not even a green. It was like the local endemic one, yeah. super hard, hard to find. Yep. He like jumps on it. They didn't even use the damn shot. It was sick though. <laughs> and he's like got it by the head, and he's got it, and he's like, he like. He goes, I bet this looks pretty cool. Next time we see a big snake, you jump on it. And then I, I was like, this is a good dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. straight up. Like, straight that's up. a good dude. Turns straight out there's up. a six, eight foot reticulated python, and I'm the one that jumped on it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, but that was, that was like, he grabbed a, like, the biggest uh, red-tailed boa constrictor I've ever seen in my life, and Rob grabbed it, and the uh, African rock python. But that, that boa constrictor was like, it was fucking roaring. It was like, huh. oh, oh, it wow. was insane. Yeah, oh, but, that, that, that was nuts. nuts. But we caught like really cool stuff uh, as we're looking for the animals we're going to get bitten and stunned by. But there wasn't any room for them, which was, mm. yeah, it was devastating. They didn't use any of them. No, nah, because there was some cool animals. Yeah. Peter, as someone who's never been outside before, what are you thinking hearing <laughs> all of these stories? <laughs> I, I think I'm thinking that I detect this kind of weird vibe from them where they're like, Excited, but in general, just like scared of the fact that they have to continue doing this, which is like, yeah. a, and, and, yeah. and, and I get that. So I understand that. <laughs> That's so I'm, I'm feeling like they're nuts. Obviously, this is crazy. I would never do anything like this. Dude, that scar is honestly like, it's horrific. It looks like a shark bite. Like, I mean, it's yeah. crazy, you know? So it's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I, um, it's good funny. Story. It's like, I enjoy. We, um, <laughs> Like, we we love animals, you know. We've, we've, our entire life we've been doing animal stuff. But when you know you're going to get bitten or stung by it, you're looking at it through a different lens. I mean, it can be the coolest animal, an animal that, like, you know, your favorite animal, uh, like the reticulated python. Mm. But knowing that you're going to have to get bitten by it, you become very intimidated by it, even though in the past you go out and catch one and you know no troubles but knowing that you're going to get bitten by it it's like you do become scared even if you've worked with these things your entire life it's yeah different ball game different sure you see one in the wild you're like hell yeah if you catch one knowing you're going to get bitten by it you're like oh it it could be the tiniest insect you're scared shitless of it (laughs) i gotta it's a different it's a different thing uh, a friend of the show who we have on all the time, uh, this guy Bradley Trevor Grieve, who uh, he had a show on Animal Planet called uh, Little Giants, where it was just about the powers of small animals. So he wanted me to ask you guys, is, what is the small, like the animal that's pain to size ratio shocked you the most? Like this little oh, thing, and you just question. couldn't fucking believe it. It happened the other day, and we can't say what it was. Ah, <laughs> yes. yeah, you guys are going to have to have okay, well, back on, man. There's some, there's some crazy, will. crazy stuff coming up. Man. Okay. Um, wait. What about one, what you can some... talk about? Yeah. Well, yeah. there was like... That well, the, 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 the Europlecti scorpion was insane, but the rove beetle was mind right. blowing. There's this, this it? rove beetle. It's this big. It's tiny, right? I, I don't it even know what it is. Idea. I don't know we, what a rove beetle is. We complained about it being Let's put have a on look, the list. Peter. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Really? Well, it, yeah, um, we're <laughs> like, this is so <laughs> underwhelming and stupid. Why are we doing a rove beetle? <laughs> yeah. Right. So I'm going to go piss real quick. You can tell him about my bladder problems, Adam. Man, uh, yeah, he's go got a bladder it. like a puppy dog, honestly. <laughs> every every few minutes, he's, he's off pissing. Um, so it's like, it's this tiny little uh, beetle, and it like, it's hemolymph. So it's, it's blood is toxic. And when you like rub it, it, it can just crawl on you. Or if you like squash it on you, the hemolymph melts your skin. Like after a oh, few days, oh. it just turns into like blisters. And, and like on Rob's leg, it was about this big, just like massive blisters. And his skin was all peeling off. There was oh pus coming out of it. God. Yeah, it was insane. And these I've never things, even like, heard of it. Yeah, thing. a lot of people haven't. Like, it'll, one will be crawling on, on them, and they'll just go, oh, like that. And that's all, like, swat it, and that's all it takes. And then and next Where are they native to? Where are these guys native to? They're actually really common, like, widely distributed throughout the world. Hey, we, we had this one in Indonesia, but um, huh. I don't know not if all, all of them, them not are dangerous. Them. Yeah, yeah. The, okay. I, I saw one in, uh, uh, where was I, South America or Central America somewhere with my wife, and uh, I flicked it off of her, and I was like, whoop. Crap, that's exactly what you don't do. But it turns out that one wasn't dangerous. Uh, but it looks huh. the same. But in Southeast Did, Asia and Africa, they can be very dangerous. 
So I see a couple different kinds here. The ones, so is there any uh, way to tell which ones are not the dangerous ones versus the ones that are by color or anything like that? You need a Justin Schmidt type. There's what, 5,000 or so? No, it's crazy oh, amount of shit. At least, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But um, so, other ones like the the velvet ants were insane. Like the velvet ant, it's the one we did in Africa was really small. It's a wingless wasp, um, but they they call it an ant. Oh, yeah, that's a scar that? from it. Yeah, what, that's the rogue beetle oh, burn. Oh my goodness! Burn the Three Man, if you that's, watch the video, it's disgusting. Uh, they got like high speed of like this massive pussy blister like bursting and stuff. Oh. It's rank. God, that's a dope nuts. animal superpower that your blood it like, is. Yeah, feel free to fucking squash me, dude, but I'm going to burn yeah. the shit out of you. They, they can yeah. spray it. Too. They can spray it as well. Oh, wow, man. Yeah, you're yeah, supposed to blow always... them off huh. if they, they get on your skin. That's the only way to get them not to spray on you. Well, that um, that velvet ant that you just uh, pulled up there, yeah, that's got like the longest stinger to body uh, size of any insect. And it, it was like its its sting is longer than its body, and that was mind-blowingly painful. It only lasted a little, you know, second, but it was insane. Velvet ant. Where did you guys do the velvet ant? We'd d- done that in Africa, but oh, we, there yeah, there's a, lots of different species, and we've we've done another one uh, at some point, and it it was it was bad as well. And Rob, yeah. you've done, you've been stung a few times by them, haven't you? It's like four or five at this point, yeah. Uh, but the one we did in Africa and then the other one we did were the worst. I got stung in the neck actually by one in Africa. And uh, oh fuck! Believe it, believe it, or, believe it or not, your neck hurts less. I was blown away. I did some googling afterwards, and apparently your neck is less sensitive than a lot of other parts of your body, huh. which made no sense to me. Oh, what? So we uh, have velvet ants here in California, Rob, as I'm sure you're aware, and mm-hmm. Adam, you you too maybe. Um, are they bad? I mean, I, I like see them They're, all the time, and have, I, I mean, I know they sting, but it's never been like, hey, stay away from the velvet ant. I've always been like, oh, cool, a velvet ant. They sting. I've only done one sting here locally around LA. It was up in uh-huh. Burbank, uh-huh. and I mean, it hurt pretty good, but not as bad as the one in Africa. Gotcha. That's good to but know. There, never even really thought about. There's a that. lot of species, so yeah, yeah, thousands actually. Yeah. Here's why you're Crazy. you're probably glad that I didn't work on your show. I would. I'm fucking dying to have you guys do a domestic house cat. Oh, I mean, they're oh, little man. fucking fangs, man. Yeah. The, the close, hey. like, yeah, and, and they can get all, like, filthy and infected. And you get that cat flu thing, eh? Yeah, Weird. cat sure. scratch fever sure. is, uh, yeah, is a real it. thing. Did you guys I thought know that? that was a song. That's what, yeah, I don't it, know about it. It's a fucking great song. When I was yeah. 12, I cried from a house cat by it, and I was super embarrassed because I thought I was too old to cry. <laughs> nah, <laughs> last time he got pussy as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, well, with the closest thing, that. like the like the well, the closest thing, but you know, it's still very distantly, like still very far off, was the slow loris. I mean, the closest thing teeth wise, oh, we got bitten by the slow loris, which is you know the only venomous primate. Uh, but it has to like lick its um, uh, brachialis area there and then, yeah. yeah and then it like you know mixes with the uh, saliva and then it bites you and it wasn't that i mean it hurt the initial bite but there was no real venom effects i don't know if it, it got a good uh you know good you lick said going it only on licked its armpit once right that you that you saw yeah so it's probably just a small amount of talk they it yeah. was a, it was a uh, rescue center that actually called us they heard what we were doing in bali and they wanted us to get bitten because they wanted us to show that these do not make good pets because they're good call. out of the wild mm. all the time. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, that didn't make the show. We wanted it to because there was a lot of message. Did, 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 it, did it make the clip show at the end? You're right. It made like like the, the little clip show, but it didn't get rated or anything like that. Mm. Mm. Which is a so shame because a, it, was a, it was like a, you know, super important yeah. message. Well, that people, people cut their teeth yeah. out. It's horrible. It's yeah. Really horrible. Yeah. Yep. yep. You've seen that forest, right, in Indonesia? I have. Yeah, I have. It's pretty oh, awful. Oh. Um, Wait, it explain, is. It's awful. Explain to me. What? So there's a venomous primate called a slow loris. It's right. also yeah. the cutest. It's yeah. also the cutest animal, maybe outside of a dick dick that exists in the world. So. Yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> yeah. Um, and their yeah, their bite is venomous, but they are just so cute, as Patrick stated, that they are pretty common in the pet trade and that especially Indonesia is crazy. There's nothing that they won't keep as pets. I mean, and the, the black market for the pet trade has absolutely exploded over there. Um, anyway, they will take these slow larises and they will rip their teeth out, not even cut them so that, mm. um, 
They're just uh, all their teeth. So there's not a single tooth that can puncture you. So that they're wow. basically just completely toothless and they'll go and lick their armpit and then they'll try and gnaw on you out of defense and terror. And it'll be like, oh, cute. He's giving me kisses. And he's just like, you know, this terrified little thing. It's uh, it's pretty terrible. it's pretty brutal. They, they have, they have yeah. these big, beautiful eyes as well. And so the, the part of the, the thing, too, is they're poached often because they use them in Eastern medicine for uh, eye wrinkle cream. And they, mm. what they do oh, is they actually really take the tear ducts out. So they kill them, take the tear ducts out, and then oh. discard the rest of the animal and then grind it up and market it as something that can take the bags out from under your eyes. I don't think it, it works. People are... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hate um, that shit. <laughs> Sorry if I just bummed you guys out. We, uh, we don't try to be a bummer of a show. I need this beer Hey, now. Forrest. Yeah. Forrest, do you yes, have sir. any white claws in your fridge? I think you need one. You're getting, I can tell, you've had four beers and you're getting a little droopy over <laughs> Yeah, that. true. You're not wrong. Crack another one, mate. <laughs> Yeah, this is a slow loris. I just pulled one up. If you're listening smash. on the YouTube, there you yeah, go. Fruit very, smash. Uh, yeah. very cute animal with big eyes. Dude. It's a shame that they do this to them. So Adam and Rob, you guys obviously you, d- you had a successful TV show. I think they then started clipping them out and they blew up on TikTok, right? So you, you, uh, you, you Snapchat, I think. Yeah, oh, Snapchat. 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 That's Take, right. Yeah. Gotcha. TikTok a little bit, yeah. But, but it's huge which, on Snapchat, right? Like huge, that's it's yeah. like bananas huge. Yeah. Yeah, it's yep. like nice. what, one of the uh, most watched. I, I don't have Snapchat, so I don't know. But I think like, it was the most <laughs> watched TV show, like that was Amazing. on Snapchat. Yeah. So it did crazy. Really I get we it. didn't expect that. We didn't expect the young viewers. It's it's a mature show. There's there's Adam's potty mouth and my occasional curse words. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, but a lot of kids watch the show. Yeah, for sure. It, this was my fucking dream when I was 11, was for this show to yeah. exist. <laughs> yeah, but not yeah. to be a part of it, just to watch right. it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, but so you obviously you work with producers because you make a TV show, and we often make fun of producers, even though that's my only job. Um, <laughs> what's the like? What's the dumbest thing that you have that you saw during season one that was suggested to you where you were just like, "Dude, get, come on." <laughs> the, the day we that's a great Adam. question. <laughs> Yeah. Ferdy Lance, you remember that? Yeah, no what way. The, Shut up. Yeah, that's, yeah, they put a Ferdy no. Lance on the list a lot. Uh, so for people no. that don't know, that's the South American uh, pit viper that is probably the most dangerous pit viper in South America, Central America. It's probably and the it's, most dangerous pit viper in the world, uh, not because of its sheer lethality, but because of the number of bites that it inflicts. Yeah, There's exactly. more bites from Ferdy Lance than I think any other pit viper, if I'm not mistaken. They're super common, especially that whole genus Brothrops. Uh, yep. They're very quick to defend themselves, and if, if you've ever handled one, like they don't act like a lot of other pit vipers. They are, they're like a lot of very wire. erratic, very yes. erratic. So and, you saw that by on the way, list. A very, a very notable list. producer uh, nearly died from a bite of one. Steve Rankin, uh, producer of Naked and Afraid, was scouting a Costa Rican location, stepped over a log, and took a bite to his calf. He now doesn't have a calf. They had oh, to cut yikes. out a chunk of his butt and put it where his calf muscle was. Um, oh, he showed while me his butt he was scouting. <laughs> I saw <laughs> his scar. I don't, it's gnarly. But anyway, so when, when you guys got up. suggested this, and I assume many other times, where you were like, who is producing this? Like, who is the idiot that's supposedly the mastermind behind this whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> we just can't believe anybody went, went with it. Like, this has been yeah. brought up to networks over and over and over. And right. like, like I said, we filmed a pilot a decade ago. And then once right. they saw what they asked for, they said, don't ever talk to them again because we were a liability. <laughs> like, yeah. no yeah. one's had the balls to do this. Like, it's dangerous. Well, and they, the, I don't know if, yeah, I think some producers of the network came up with a list of animals, like a rough list. And we were looking through them and we're like, nope, nope, that, that'll kill us, that'll kill right. us, that'll kill Co- us. I mean, they're, they're not buy animal an people, elephant. so mm-hmm. I mean. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Co- what about a Kodiak yeah. brown bear? Uh, yeah. Should we do something like that? Yeah. Well, it's so got a serious finale, my friend. The production is like they want us to pull out animals and like hold it for the camera for 10 minutes right over your arm while you're trying to get the perfect camera angles. And it's like hot out. You're sweating. And the animal's starting to slip. It's starting to slip a little bit more. And then... We've we've had so many animals get away. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Like, oh shit. It, it's it's not like we just have to catch it and then stick it on our arm. We have to get it perfectly aligned for like seven cameras and the sun and our own shadows. And the whole time the animal's just trying to bite or sting. 
Right. It's, it's so much harder than you would think. Mm. And I mean, a lot of the animals don't want to bite a sting. Like it takes a lot of effort to to get them to do it. And it just goes right. to show like these these animals aren't out to get you. You know, right. yeah. a lot of the times we had to try pretty damn hard to get bit. Interesting. Well, that's I think we, like, what? took them out of the wild and like basically kidnapped them. Like any person would do the same thing way before. What have yeah. never been attacked by anything except for the hippos? Have right. you guys done any venomous snakes? No. Not on purpose. No. Not on purpose. <laughs> <No. laughs> I mean, I it's cool a... because, like, I th- I think the number one thing, I, you know, Forrest and I are both pro zoo when it's a decent zoo. Right. Um, you know, I think the number yeah. one thing that that works really well for conservation is just showing young people that animals are amazing, you know, right. which I think this show does in a really great way. Like I, I'm sure there are some trolls online who are like, Oh, you're, you're harassing the animals. And Forrest has even gotten that for just handling animals. But it's oh, like, yeah. if you can show a couple million people by the end of the day or with your fucking Snapchat, probably 20 million, uh, Seriously. that these animals are amazing and have these cool superpowers. Like that's 20 million kids that are going to be like, Dude, animals are awesome. Maybe we shouldn't fucking throw plastic in the water. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, we, we never want to demonize these animals and make people scared of them. But we found that it did the exact opposite. We, we get messages from people going, oh, you know, I uh, used to be scared of this animal. Now I'm not. It, you would think That's that would cool. be more scared, but <laughs> right. they, they don't. I mean, they understand it better. They see it and uh, they see how cool it is and they actually start liking it. They nice. see how hard awesome. we work to get bitten by it. Well, that was our biggest fear. Everyone's going to be more scared. Even within my own family, uh, people have stopped killing venomous snakes. My mom ha- found a frog in the house, and she hates frogs. She usually <laughs> ta- traps them in a bottle and suffocates them, and now she traps them in the <laughs> bottle and puts the bottle outside for it to go. So, like, it's had a <laughs> huge great. impact. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. It is a huge impact. I mean, little changes make you have to have the little change to make the big change so do they broadcast a show in china oh that's a good question (laughs) that would supposedly the young generation in china has really changed a lot and and a lot of them aren't going down the same road with the with the taking of all the animals so i hope it's good to hear too yeah that's awesome i really uh but i uh you probably know more about that than i would for us but it seems like the younger generation might be doing a little better i mean i think with each generation Look, humans in general are reactive, not proactive, right? And we're at a point of being reactive now. Every single generation, we have less and less animals. And so I think those kids actually care more and uh, they're reactive to that, right? Because granddaddy comes along and talks about when he would look out and see nothing but a a herd of gazelle and now all he sees is condos or whatever it happens to be, right? And so I think... I think each generation, I don't know if it's China specific, but I, I feel like each generation we're getting better. We're understanding, caring more about conservation. And it's like this really weird and delicate balance where it's like, hang on, animals, like we're coming, right? Like people's mindsets are catching up. Just give us a couple more generations. Just hang on a little bit longer. Um, yeah, right. But I don't know. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta, I mean, you gotta I just think... hope they don't fall off eventually when they become like bitter adults, conservatives. Mm. No, <laughs> I'm not upset. <laughs> yeah. We're, yeah. All, we're all very, we're all into these causes when we're younger, but I do think there is a difference with these, the recent generations. They're, they're staying more on these issues the older they get, which is great because if they don't, uh, the whole fucking world is going to collapse. I mean, we need the oceans. We need, we need these Jesus animals retent. around. That's yeah. deep. You call me just retent. That's real deep for Peter. The younger we generation always. We need the always, oceans. Uh, uh, <laughs> they're always so, offended by something. So I mean, they could put that being offended by everything to use and be offended by people fucking up the uh, environment. That'd be great. That's uh, clever. Right? That'd be great. Instead of <laughs> like that offense. To- Cancel everyone it. for some shit they did 20 years ago. Like, <laughs> right. you know, oh, yes. put your energy into something actually more important. I know why I Adam's that. saying this. I've gone very <laughs> deep down his Twitter rabbit hole, and there is some <laughs> awful stuff from a few years ago. Um, when, when, when Patrick and I were in Vietnam, uh, we were we were traipsing up to this cave. I think it was on the way to the cave. I don't even remember anymore. And I flipped over a log. And we found a giant scolopendra, you know, the uh, the big, uh, 
I don't even know what the common name is. It's a type of centipede, right? Or maybe it's mil- big centipede, red, not millipede. Red, big yeah. red centipede. Yeah. I just don't know what the, the English name for those scolopendras are in Vietnam. And I remember we were, we were, I was like, don't get bitten by this thing. Like, don't fuck around with this thing. And the local guy was like, oh, if you do, you just rub chicken spit on it. To which Patrick immediately replied, how the hell do you get chicken spit? Which I thought was a very good question. But um, yeah. first of all, have you heard of any of these ridiculous remedies? And second, well, first of all, have you fucked with Scolopendra? And then have, I'm curious about what some of these like local remedies that you guys must have heard of are. Because everywhere you go, there's always like a local like, yeah, rub that on it. Put this on it. Pee in your own mm. mouth. You know, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> number, number, number two on the pain index on season one was a giant asian centipede but it wasn't in the genus scolopendra uh, oh interesting yeah but it's it's ra- rated number two on the painted it was insane insanely painful wonder, what did it feel giant, like Ooh, like somebody had bashed your arm with a sledgehammer and set it on fire and then left oh. it like that for 12 hours oh man oh. you start so typing like- in giant asian and i swear to god I, this is not a porn thing the four, third thing that pops up in my google search is centipede kings of pain oh right they so know nice. they yeah. know <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it was like yeah. a deep pain besides just that I've never been uh, stung by anything that felt different than just a sting. Yep. So you're saying this mm. this centipede hit you and it was like a deep pain as if you yep. had your arm broken? Entire yeah. arm as well. Entire wow. arm. It, it was down. a different pain to any other animal. Mm. Like we call but, it the oh centipede pain. God. We just don't know how to describe yeah. it. Yeah. Because we how have been bitten by Scolopendra as well. Um, and 12 hours, nonstop. Yeah, that was bad as well. It's, no way. Uh, yeah. yeah I threw ha- have any of was... these... Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead, Rob. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> have any of these... Cool, good dead air. Every, good job, Forrest. Thanks, everybody. Um, what? A, <laughs> have any of these... And I know the answer is like, yes, of course. When my arm got chopped up by a python, it hurt all night. But have any of these just like... You said 12 hours. Just stayed with you way longer than you ever anticipated. I'm not talking about, yeah, that cut, you know, I needed stitches. I mean, like, mean that venom. bite. Yeah, venom. Like, any... Because I always think of venom as, like, sure, you know, it's it's neurotoxic, it's cytotoxic, whatever. Those are the effects. But that's very different from sort of the psychological or even the physical, like, it's really staying with me. Like, the venom is not out of my system. Yeah. Um. Season one, I think the, the longest one for me was the... Uh, the new world tarantula bite. I mean, they're not supposed oh, yeah. to be that bad, but it, that lasted for like a week in my arm. And I, I just had, must have had a real bad reaction to it. But my arm was swollen up and it felt like there was styrofoam under my skin. Like it was creaking. I remember oh. you saying that. You said it was yeah. crunchy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so um, weird. And that was yeah. North American so tarantula? Uh, no, it was uh, in Bolivia. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it was a yeah. Goliath Thank bird God. eater, but I think we might oh, okay, have bird eater. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think it, we don't think it was a Goliath bird eater, but <laughs> it might have been. Not, somebody not. brought you some spider, and you're like, "Yeah, fuck it, I'll shove this thing in my arm and no, see what happens." No, it was happens. a local biologist that was like, "Here, they look different here." We're like, "Okay." Yeah. <laughs> well, then, <laughs> Patrick, yeah, sure. Hey, hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. You're you're a very experienced and very good producer. I'm a novice. Uh, I'm a novice to Bolivian arachnids. And sure. some guy shows up and has a spider in a basket, doesn't speak a lick of English. What are you telling me is the talent? If it's you? Well, sure. Yeah, if it's me. I would just go, I, I, I can't tell you what to do. Right, I but just... your, whole, your whole show's career, your whole career is riding on the line here, and it's not me. <laughs> it's two guys you just met an episode Look, and a half if ago. if it's a snake, yeah. there's no way. Right. Uh, a tarantula, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Yeah, I just yep. feel so like I've words, never gonna, heard of someone yep. dying from a tarantula. Right. So you're like, listen, yeah. Robin Adam, it's this guy's a biologist, like for sure. I mean, yeah. look at him. You know, he knows. <laughs> yeah. He he's says it's the right on. kind of spider. Yeah. yeah I don't know where he got that. He's I'm pretty from. sure that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> we, we looked at the range maps before we got there. It was like, you know, it doesn't really look like the Goliath Birdie to ranges in that area. So we're going to go for the uh, Bolivian Blue Leg. And neither one of us are arachnid guys by any stretch of the imagination like that's probably the least animals we know about um uh and then someone got it like listen it, it's a little bit smaller it, it's still got juvenile coloration and uh it's a different color face here and we're like <laughs> we're like i thought it didn't live here but we don't really know so like, sir, sir it's right. barking at me uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's not even a spider <laughs> but ultimately it comes down to us because we are responsible, so we should have uh, figured that out later. 
Yeah, you I mean, like, are... yeah, we're, we're like, Rob's like a reptile guy. I'm like mammals. So we, we with the, the bugs and the inverts, the invertebrates, like, we're just. Yep. At the we mercy of the Indonesian people, biologists. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Exactly. Do, do you have life insurance, either of you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure my wife has a secret. <laughs> I don't know. Plan. This is hilarious. Hard hitting <laughs> questions. I, no, she, I has, she has dropped the toaster into the bathtub several times, and I don't know why the toaster's <laughs> in the bathroom. She also keeps upping it. It's weird that it just keeps Yeah, and her bags are always packed that day. Like she's going on I vacation. smell a it's forensic a files <laughs> episode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So no, I can't get life at... insurance. I've tried, by the way. So, side note, I tried. My buddy, Scott Eastman, he owns four state farms. Okay, I called him up. I was like, Scott, Scotty, listen, bro. I, I got to get life insurance. I'm doing all this stupid shit. I'm, I'm a parent now. Like, this is important. He's like, I got you, man. If anybody can get life insurance for you, it's me. A week goes by. Don't hear a word from him. Call him back up. And I'm like, Scott, what's, what's going on with this life insurance <laughs> thing, man? He's like... Yeah, there's just no way. He's like, if I can't get you life insurance, nobody can. He's like, there's just no way. And, uh, yep, sure enough, I couldn't get it. So I was curious. I was going to ask you who your guy was if you had a, a life insurance dealer. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even tried. Yeah. I see that you guys – so I looked at the list of, of, of everything in season one, and I know you've been doing other stuff since, which hopefully you can come back on the show and talk about. I don't see Eric Kanji on there. Well, mm, come on. We well, come on. <laughs> before the pandemic hit, we had a massive. We went to pre-production for the second season, uh, like basically right after season one. But then the pandemic hit, and you know, everything went went south. Uh, but we were going to go to Australia, and I think the Irukandji was on the list. Just a few tentacles, not a whole. Right. We were know, playing around with that yeah. or other box jellies. Yeah. Damn um, it. You guys ruined what I was going to do. I was going to give Peter five guesses to guess what an Irukandji was, and there is no way he was going to get It's there. a box jelly, obviously, mate. I knew now that. Now he's <laughs> Googling. Um, <laughs> All right. So you yeah, were going to do it. You were willing You were willing to get in the water, or were you going to take it out? How were you going to do the Irukandji? That's a good question. Just to put it in a container and take a few uh, tentacles off and just sort of drag them over the skin. But we didn't want to get like full blown, you know, all the tentacles dragged over us because you Oof. know that might kill yeah, us. Yeah, we're not putting it in right. sure. athletic cups or anything. Jeez, <laughs> right, yeah. right. Oh, have you guys heard of the the kanduru catfish? Oh yes, yeah. I am very this, scared. I, I, I I'm so scared of the kanduru that when I go to the Amazon, I don't pee. Even if I'm standing out of the water, I won't <laughs> pee into the water. I'll just stay out and pee into a bush. He's wearing diapers the whole time. Yeah, dude. I, if I'm peeing in the Amazon, I'm not even kidding. I'm breaking up the stream like this <laughs> so that it doesn't swim up the stream into my urethra. Smart. And I know that it can't do that. I swear to God, I will I will dance left and left and right to <laughs> break up the stream just in case one salmon migrates up my <laughs> urine stream and goes into my pee-pee. <laughs> I was literally, Rob, I was, as you opened your mouth to talk, I was going to ask why you guys haven't done a Kandiru. <laughs> <laughs> they can't find one big enough. <laughs> Good point. Excellent. Even, well played, even sir. Test the sides. <laughs> well played. Just Wait, so right real quick, out. just for people who haven't listened to the other 10 times we've talked about Kandiru, <laughs> explain what you're going to say, Rob. <laughs> Well, I don't even know if it's true. Ab and I go back and forth on this all the time. But supposedly, it's a catfish that goes up and sucks blood from the gills of fish in the Amazon. And it picks up on that ammonia that's coming from the gills. Well, guess where else you have ammonia? In your piss. And so, ah. if you're pissing in a river, this thing uh, swims up to your, you know, your, your manhood. And then using its sharp pectoral spines, goes pop, 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 pop all the way up your urethra. It maybe sucks your blood while it's doing it. Oof. It's a suck job oh. you don't want. How, 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 do, yeah. how, do you, how do you get it out? How do you get that thing out, Forrest? So, <laughs> I don't know. Find if, out. Tweezers. Oh, <laughs> I know the answer, unfortunately, and not because it's happened, thank God. But because the Kandiru has backward-facing spines, once it swims up into your urethra and, and lodges those spines in, you cannot pull it back out. You cannot get it back out. So your penis has to be filleted open, oh. I'm presuming on a table with a dull knife. They remove it and then <laughs> sew it back together. Swear to God, that is a true story. Oh. And you're asking whether or not it's true, Rob. It, it is, you can, 
Peter, I don't think we want to show this one, but for no. those listening that's curious, go Google the image because there is an image floating Filet around. There was penis. A, fil, there is an X-ray where you clearly see the fish inside the guy's wang, oh. and then you see exactly the surgery and how it, it goes down. Yeah. And it is once you see that, you'll never pee in a direct stream into a body of water ever again. And that, as a man, I promise you, is right the now. case. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, I, I, always, so scary. I always, always said it, it's confirmed, like there's confirmed cases, but yeah, I always, always thought, yeah, it's true, man. It is true. It's, it's too happened. scary it's, to believe. And if it's not time. true, it's not worth fucking around with. You know what I mean? Like, just don't pee in the water. It's that simple. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like after that movie, I Arachnophobia, I checked the toilet seat for years. I'm not oh, my God. Either. Are you kidding Good, me? Absolutely. Oh, my God. So what is, what is the, the animal... That is at the top of your fuck me up bucket list. Like Ooh. bucket list? Oh, well. First off, I don't like centipedes. I hate them. <laughs> I can see Adam with that look in his eye, like he's gonna try to put some more centipedes on the pain index. Yeah, I'd love to put the uh, <laughs> the giant scolopendra in Central South America, the like foot long one that's like yep. this. Dude, no, the, no. The Southeast Asian <laughs> scolopendra is massive as well, and that apparently has killed people. That might have been the one that you saw far. That's the one I was dinking with. If, I'm pretty if sure. you do We're that, I'm Vietnam, chucking some yeah. tarantulas, new the old world tarantulas <laughs> on the list. I know you don't like those. I love this. This is how they build <laughs> yeah. each other up, yeah. gents. That you were talking about yeah. earlier for us. Exactly. This is it, right? That's right. Adam, 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 you know what the OBT is? Yes. Yeah. The orange bubble. Uh, I know. So what's an if OBT? If you start chucking on like large centipedes, I'm going to chuck on the OBT. Orange baboon <laughs> tarantula, <laughs> yeah. otherwise known uh, as okay. the orange bitey thing, and it's <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, one hell of a bite. <laughs> Apparently, they're <sighs> they're dicks. Yeah, Forrest. Yeah, they're, uh, let's we say, can't wait see, to look see at it. He doesn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, Forrest. Let's say that uh, Joe Joe History calls you and says, "Hey, we want to do this awesome cross promotion. We're really excited. Uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna take the rate that you make on your your Discovery show. We're gonna go 10x that just to do a guest appearance on." If Kings of Pain were to come back for another season or, or for just yep. whatever their personal shit is, uh, you're right. gonna come on. You're gonna do it. All three of you. Now, you're a pretty cocky guy, Forrest. You, you, oh, yeah. You're it's not going to go real <laughs> pussy shit. But you also are, you know, you're married. You have a kid. You know. No you, life insurance. You don't have life insurance. Well, what neither animal, do these guys, so. <laughs> what animal yeah. that they, what, what, what are you going to go with? So I get to pick, like, You get the to pick, and that... all three of you are going to get stung, bit, whatever. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> got it. But I want to be tough. I want to be cool. So it's got to yeah. be kind of gnarly. Alligator bite. Small, oh. five foot alligator okay. bite. Five yep. foot? Wow. A five yeah. footer. Not, we're not going big enough to rip my limb off. Uh, it's <laughs> going to be, Adam's going to have to hold it down while it bites me so it doesn't go into death roll. I know it's going to leave some gnarly puncture marks, which is kind of cool. I'm guessing they haven't done a crocodilian, so that's, that's some breakout news. Um, yep, I'm going oh, for an alligator. Like five foot like gator. Yeah. Five Where are you gator. taking the bite? Where, 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 leg, yeah, arm, calf? Straight, oh, no, a leg straight, job. straight in the candiru spot, just straight <laughs> into the genitals, <laughs> yeah. just hard genital nip nip. Um, no, I'm gonna go. Nip nip. Man, I would have gone for the forearm until I found out about you know Rob's permanent damage. So oh, yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say calf. I guess I do like walking a lot though. Um, That's true. That's good. Yeah. Walking yeah, good. shoulder. Kneecap. I'm gonna go shoulder, just like right bone? here. Just like there's a lot of bone. Ooh. It's not gonna get through at all. I'm gonna take it in the shoulder, like right. a man. Cool, a lot of cool spot to get a scar as well on the shoulder. It is really yeah. cool. Yeah. It's like like a tribal tat. Um, yeah, we'll, 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 we can we'll see what happens to Forrest and see if we want to go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's the one time they bail. First. Be the only one that we, we don't do. We're just like, oh, we yeah. weren't going to do it from the start. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if it's you guys against each other, you're like, oh, yeah, I feel bad if he doesn't do it. It's like, fuck that forest. I, <laughs> when, when we were, when I was, oh, man, let's see. I was two years out of, I was about a year and a half out of college. So I must have been 22 years old. And I took this big trip. Um, we, we, my, my girlfriend and I did uh, 28 countries in 14 months. It was amazing. Lived out of a backpack, had no money, worked along the way. It was killer. And halfway through the trip, two of my buddies t from school joined me in my home country of Zimbabwe. Long story short, we went to Lake Kariba, which is this big lake, big man-made lake, loaded with Nile crocodiles. Um, and we were drinking, go figure. And we were hiking around. We actually 
played some real stupid games with some hippos. But uh, uh, but then we went and we were catching crocs, right? And we caught a little uh, nylee, like I, literally like maybe a yearling, right? Like under under 12 inches long. And my buddy Smitty, who's the same guy who he'd shot in the ass with a blow dart gun, who's the same guy who used to play paintball shirtless, so on and so forth, was like, <laughs> I want to let it bite me. And so we decided that we were going to let it bite him. We were very drunk on his nipple. So he took his shirt off. And I have, I have video of this that we should probably release on the Wild Times Patreon. I have to find Def- it. Definitely. But he took his shirt off, and I held it up. And the problem was we were laughing so hard before it even happened that, like, I couldn't aim the crocodile. And so I missed his nipple, and it latched on, like, under boob. I, like, missed the nipple and hit the under boob. And then I let go because it was so funny. And the crocodile hung on there for, like, a good two or three seconds before it dropped off and scurried back into the water. And in hindsight, I'm sure this would be considered animal abuse. But at age 22, <laughs> under much drinking in a place where crocodiles kill a lot of people, we thought it was hysterical. And um, I, I have never seen – and Smitty's, like, a big, very muscular guy – he was dancing around howling with this crocodile, like, latched onto his under boob. I mean, it was hysterical. And that was like, like I said, that was well under a foot, and that looked pretty bad. But that was a croc, not a gator. So I, I think I'm sticking with my strongest, uh Strongest bite force in the animal kingdom? Or was that? Crocodiles, yeah. Croc- Crocodile, yeah, downward, right? Downward pressure, Oof. yeah. PSI. Um, can, yeah. can we just do a quick, a quick game here? Quick game? Because I'm sure these guys right. are getting sick of hearing our bullshit. Do you have a jingle, Peter? Do you have a little jingle for the for the game? <laughs> yeah, let's go. One? I think I know what time it is. No, you know is? fuck. It's a different game. Oh, right. it's not time so, for that. Sorry. So, Sorry. so I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> the guy who... Uh, there we go. So I've called you up. I work for Robin Streaming Service X. Adam, Rob, Forrest, you guys are, you've agreed to do yep. Kings of Pain XL, right? It's the three of you. Mm-hmm. I've offered you Smart. however much money Which, you make way, on your current shows. by the way, would be the name shows. based on networks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've offered you, I, I love Forrest, you guys. I, I think the three of you together are going to be fucking amazing. Uh, take whatever you're making on your current projects. I'm going to times it by three, okay? Times it by mm-hmm. three. Mm-hmm. All right? I'm just going to throw out a Fuck list yeah, of animals. Bucks. Fuck yeah. Well, <laughs> just a yes or no. Will you take a bite from it? Ooh, That's I all like we this need. Game. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. All right. yep. So Good first one. thing uh, that I'm very interested in is uh, a six foot three, 24 year old male human being. And I want him to bite you for 30 seconds. Adam. Um, where's he biting? Yeah, because uh, it's, it's not in like a you know. Is this like a personal rule, preference like, or f- for, <laughs> forearm? <laughs> All right, yeah. Oof. Rob, yeah. Forest. No, absolutely not. <laughs> my my two year old bites me and I cow, I scream in pain. Absolutely not. I will not take this. No, next, pain. next. Okay, I am not All a right, king well, of pain. Uh, Adam and Rob, I'm happy to be in business with you on the human episode. Uh, so uh, the next one here I- I'd love to have bite you is an eight-year-old female chihuahua. Uh, I'd like I'd like her to bite you for at least 12 seconds straight. Adam? Mm. On the dick. <laughs> on the, yeah, then, yeah. Uh, no, just wherever you want, just on the, the calf or the forearm. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it for sure. Rob? Yeah, why am I more scared of that than the human bite? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm in. You got all three of us. Oh, yes. Okay, that's going to be a highly rated episode. Uh, all right, I'm just going to do a couple more and then Peter throw mm-hmm. one out. Uh, I, so I've arranged it. It's already set up. I have a, uh, a, giant, uh, a giant squid uh, that we, we brought up from the depths. Uh, it's going to latch its beak right onto your, uh, the back of your leg, like the hamstring area. Um, for this one, I'm going to pay you 4x your current salary. What, what are you thinking, Adam? Well, giant squid, Arcatuthus ducks, they can probably pull out like an orange-sized bit of flesh from that beak. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Sounds great. I don't think I would. Okay, I mean, Adam's I out. Big, Good I TV. I don't have big calves. So that'll be my okay. entire calf gone. <laughs> so he doesn't Rob, have legs. Can I count on you, Rob? <laughs> well, Adam's white legs may have blinded it as well. <laughs> <laughs> you get cancelled uh, for yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no. Hell no. 
<laughs> for us. I mean, Listen, I'm taking, I'm like taking the gig. After that. I'm taking you're, the you're gig. I want to be. I want to be the king of pain. And when the other two say no, and I'm pretty sure no human being has ever been recorded taking a bite from a giant squid before. I'll take the gig. For yeah, four X. Wow, well, oh, that's it's gonna yeah, be great. Right. Well, I mean, I'll go as I'll go Humboldt squid, but that's max. Yeah. Right, I'm terrified, by little. the way, but I'm doing <laughs> it just do for the clout. Squid. Just for the we, clout. We, we thought about it. <laughs> you talked about trying to do a squid. We, we yeah, squid would be we, cool. We put on we put Humboldt on the maybe list, and then uh, that's at least a golf ball chunk out of you. Yeah. Pretty hard <laughs> to get. Pretty hard to right. facilitate. Here's yeah. my last yeah. one, and then my associate Retep has one ready. Uh, I've, I, just a personal thing. I grew up in the bayou of Louisiana. I've heard stories about people getting their calves removed by alligator snapping turtles. I'm willing to pay you each a flat fee for this episode of $80,000 to take an alligator snapping turtle to the calf. Adam? Oh, oh man. Um, <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Rob, what do you it's what so do you think? Can, I, can we can we count on you here at Streaming Service X? Well, well, Adam lives in Australia where he gets free surgery. I'm assuming. So, uh, no, my surgery is going to be more than eighty grand. <laughs> okay. Rob's out so for us. Know. What do you think? I'll do it with Adam. I've taken a snapping right. turtle bite, yes. and it wasn't good. But I'll I'll do it with Adam. I'm in for the snapping Ooh, turtle. It's not going to be as I don't know if I'm going to have any legs left between the squid and the, and the alligator snapper, yeah. but uh, I'll, give, I'll give it a whirl. Wow. All right. Ritep, wow. I know you, you well, were interested. Why forest? Because it's got trees, tree legs, peg legs. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, I, didn't, I haven't played 20-something years of rugby to have pin stick legs. Right? I got extra <laughs> leg. I got extra leg to spare. No, uh, right. Pin stick. Does anyone know what a pin stick is? Do you mean pencil? Uh, He's very drunk. Right. As am I. <laughs> FYI, I can't. I can't really top that, but I. I do have a semi-interesting one. Uh, no flat fee. This is just in your your deal memo. We want to know if you'll do. Adam, will you allow just a you know a one foot long rat to gnaw on your <laughs> pinky fingertip for twenty five minutes? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. I've been bitten, I've been bitten by so rats and, it, and it's, it's fucked. Bro, that you would just have horrible. bone left. There would just be bones sticking out of there. Right, let me sweeten the else. deal. Let me sweeten the deal a little bit. I know twenty five might have been a bit extreme. How about how about for just sixty seconds? Nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Man, okay rat Rob? Bites are, they're bad. <laughs> then uh, before Kings of Pain, I got a gig getting bitten by non-venomous snakes for a high-speed camera. You're insane, and by the I way. Never let out cool. a whimper. Never let out <laughs> a whimper. I grabbed a rat to feed one of the snakes, and I screamed so loud. <laughs> and everyone <laughs> made fun of me after that. So you're in. Uh, so you're in then? But, well, well, I'm saying they freaking hurt, but my left pinky is so messed up, I can, I can spare it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ah. do the messed up pinky messed up from That's the Python smart. bite. You can take that one. I need that. He's money. pulling a card that the rest of us don't have to pull. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I went to the Rob, Vietnam. You are the, or the king of pain. Yeah, he is. I went to the <laughs> Thai Torture Museum. This is a real place, by the way. If you're ever in Bangkok, it's insane. It's really cool. Is it a good place for a date? The, it yeah. is. That's what I did. And <laughs> yeah. uh, with a lady boy, it was lovely. Um, <laughs> no, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, one of the things that they had in the Thai Torture Museum is they would take a rat and they would put it in a bucket and put it into your abdomen, or like put the bucket against your abdomen, and after a certain amount of time, the rat would chew into your intestines. Oh, um, oh and yeah. they, they blowtorch the Game. top of it? So it yes, sorry, up and yes. Like Game around. of Thrones. Yeah, I've heard of this. Yeah. Yeah. They no, do that Game oh. of Thrones? Ugh. Yeah. 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 Don't remember that. Season but anyway, four, episode yeah. seven. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I, 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 I'll take all the hard stuff, but the uh, the the 24 year old human and the rat. I'm out. I'm out. Those are those okay. are too mundane. Well, human right. bites are <laughs> nasty. Yeah. yeah. The, I was gonna say. Believe it or not, you will catch. You will share all the same diseases as that human, because we're mm -hmm. all humans. Yes. <laughs> so. That's a good point. By the way, here, also, nobody, also the, nobody flosses. Yeah. Nobody flosses. Oh, Who's the, God, the last time anybody's ever flossed their teeth? <laughs> Nobody actually flosses. Nobody. You know what? Human brushes mouth is a cesspool. It's disgusting. <laughs> I do brush my teeth too hard. I'm losing gums. I think we it, talked it about that. It is funny that, that uh, the only thing that, while well, me and Pat have ever been bitten by, is likely the human. 
Like, oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. And it's awful. <laughs> it's terrible. And it's, it sounds like it, it's one of the worst. Leaves a mark. Yeah, it's, it's a dirty bite, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have guests on, two guests that both, when I suge- or Peter suggested getting bitten by a rat, were like, I've been bit by many rats. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I, I tried to put a little collar on, a, on my pet rat, and she bit me. And yeah, it was Bitch. horrible. I'll never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> All do right, let's it. play the big game. Let's play yeah, the real thing. We do let's this, do then it. we wrap out. Let's do it. All right. I think I know what time it is. Now we know what time it is. is? Time! What? The battle. (laughs) Boom! Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Patrick, you you set up. I got I got something I've been noodling. Okay, well, this is a game that we play, Adam and Rob, who have definitely never listened. Uh, (laughs) But we play it every week. It's the listeners' favorite thing. We just, uh, we create a scenario, and then we do, uh, I don't think a snake draft's going to work. Too many people, right? No, not with five. Yeah, yeah. too many people. Yeah. Uh, okay. And also, then the, the listeners vote on who wins, true, and uh, you win nothing for winning except pride. Yep. What's the situation, Correct. Forrest? So here's what we're going to do. We are on the Kings of Pain special episode podcast. So this is going to be our Kings of Pain battle royale. And what that Love means is you are going to take three animals... And you are go- they are going to bite you at the same time. Now, you not being you, they're going to bite your enemy at the same time. <laughs> and okay. those three animals, you have to pick the three animals that are going to inflict the most pain on your enemy in one sitting. Now, there's two, there's two caveats to this, okay? You cannot pick two of any one group of animal. So no two bugs, no two snakes... No two hippos, whatever you want. Yeah. No two of anything. Okay. The victim cannot die. Okay. And we're not we're not taking into account allergic reactions. Okay. So we're not gonna be like, oh Taipan, you're fucked. No, no. (laughs) The victim cannot die. They just have to suffer. And that's it. Those are the only caveats. I made up on the spot. Came up with it for us. I think you yep. need to go first. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. I She's shall. Been right. Um, I will do it. Okay. So I'm up <clears throat> first. So here's my scenario. Okay. You're tied down to a table. It's a real bad time to be tied down to a table because on your foot, and you have to pick where you're getting stung, by the way, making that up as I go. <laughs> on your foot, <laughs> on the arch of your foot, which for me is a very sensitive spot. Don't know why. Maybe it is for everybody. You are going to take a stone scorpion fish. Yeah. Yep, take that, Adam. That's mine. I better write these down. I oh, won't yeah, and you can't reuse uh, anything. That's how it works. <laughs> That's what you oh, want. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to take a stone scorpion fish spine on the bridge of your foot. Oof. Simultaneously, Bad. in the face, I'm going to say around the eyes, you are going to take... I'll say that. I'll, I'll take the Skullapendra off the table. You're going to take a giant centipede sting on the face. Okay? <laughs> Christ almighty. Now, yeah, no, this, it's, this you're not in a good putrid. scenario. Okay, I got one bug. I got one fish. And now, I forgot to mention that you are tied down face, <clears throat> face down on this table. And on, <laughs> yes. your, on your behind, on your, on your bottom, I bite you, bite you on, on your face. bottom is going to be a bucket with said rat that we have been discussing inside of it. No blowtorch. It's up to the rat how many times he bites, if he wants to bite. If he's not going to bite, maybe you get off easy. But if he decides he's going to burrow into your hindquarters, then you just have to wear it. (laughs) This is fucking gross, what you've done. (laughs) Yeah, that's terrible. I know. I really like it. (laughs) And, and like, he's set set the, uh, the pace here, so it's like anything more extreme than that is... It's unbelievable. Well, True. someone should call the FBI and have them sent to Forrest's house now. Because <laughs> this is bad <laughs> stuff. <laughs> All right. All right. Who's, up right. Second? Who's up next, Forrest? Let's, get, let's put Adam up next. Let's put Adam on the spot. He got very upset when I stole his stone scorpion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So first up, I'll go male platypus. Wow. Ooh. Mammal. Out Ooh. of the air. Um, they have venomous spurs, the males do, and apparently the pain can last for a long time. So I'm going to do a sting from one of them, somewhere sensitive. All right, I'll do it. 
actually anywhere is gonna hurt. <laughs> so, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it on the fingers because that really bloody hurts. Right on the fingers. Oh, oh yeah, fingers God. suck. Then I'm gonna get a. What is it? The wandering spider that makes you get an erection for ages. Yep. 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 Oh, it's that's the Brazilian genius. wandering spider. Apart I from that, you get a this. painfully hard erection. Right. Oh my God. But hey, 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 hear me out here. That might sound all right. Then you dip said erection into water with a kangaroo. <laughs> Guys, wow. guys. <laughs> oh, come on. That's way Jesus worse than mine. That's, you that's good stuff. That. You, you have an erection die. that won't go down, and then you got a catfish up there with, it, with spines. You can't even kill yourself. You just got to live with this. That you just is... got to live. That, that is your life now. That is oh. your life now. Oh. That's way worse than mine. I'm already been out. Played Retep. You're up. Let's go. Okay. Uh, so uh, my first bite is going to come to the nipple. It will be a uh, Gila monster because they have very <laughs> sharp teeth. Gila, Gila, Gila monster. monster. Guy that's Googling. No, Gila. <laughs> I'm from uh, the Midwest. It's, we call it oh, a Gila okay. there. Oh, right. <laughs> They've been known okay. to flip over while biting to further open the wound. So they're just basically going to, your whole tit is just going to be filleted open. One booby. It's going to hurt for a while. It's going to take a long time Quora, for that to Quora.com is quite informative. We can, um, we can, <laughs> Rob, Rob and I can uh, kind of confirm that. It probably does really fucking hurt. So. No <laughs> way. <laughs> wow. I won't, I won't dig into that. I did not know that you guys had done that. I also thought healers well, well, were hey, like pretty hey, lethal. Hey. I didn't say if we had done it or not. That's I'm true. You didn't. It That's probably true, you didn't. really fucking hurt. Probably. <laughs> like a very close relative, like. <laughs> wow. Yikes. Like, I don't know, something beaded. Who would know? Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, my second my second uh, bite is going to come. Oh, it's, it's, it's actually not going to be a bite. It's going to be a sting uh, from a stingray, which is uh, it has a stinger that's laced in venom. And the barbs are known to break off in the wound. You know where it's going to sting you, where it's going to stab you, I should say, right in the taint. Between the balls wow. and the asshole. Fuck. Just boom. Probably going to cause some type of hernia. Yeah, That'll that's be not very a good place lasting. to take a stingray spine to the table. It's a 25 on the pain scale. The scenario, uh. the, scena the visuals in which that takes place, the squatting over the stingray, the tickling it, the, that's quite something. Very nice. Yep. Please continue. I like that you're going for all genitals, by the way. <laughs> yeah, of course, yes. <laughs> okay. Pig. Um, no, this last one is Herpes. is going to no. Well, I mean that would be a bad bite, but can't get rid of no, that. No. <laughs> yeah, you're living with that. Um, no, this one's gonna go straight for the face. Um, okay. Needed one for the face, and it was talked about earlier. I made my list before because I knew what the topic was gonna be, and uh, it's Shouldn't gonna be a it. box jellyfish that is just. All right. Pfft, I think this. I think right on your face. Like, Nice. It's, it's farting on your yeah. faces, it sounds like. It's Here, here's the thing, though. On your face. And, and we all just love to make fun of Retep, but I think he's out. Because I don't think you're surviving this. Gila to the nipple, no, you have box to jellyfish it. to the face? That's right. Adam, yeah. what do you think? I see you nodding. Are you make, Are you pulling through this one? Um, Is he DQ'd? Yeah, yeah, I don't... Well, you can't DQ... Uh, it, 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 I mean, you could, but it... Definitely I, I thought we were in some kind of world where you don't months. die. Sorry. No, that was interrupt. the uh, no, you, the whole yeah, point Sam. was. Yeah, I got uh, it. Very I, good. I, I, no, I Forrest, Forrest is a droopy-eyed alcoholic. I mean, he didn't <laughs> understand, true. and he's making up rules. <laughs> he he drinks one day a Next. month, but when he does, he's Next. a silly little kid. That is <laughs> it's very true. accurate. That's what we call All a right. binge alcoholic. All right, you are not DQ'd, Retep. Stop Thank calling you. me an alcoholic. Rob, you are up next. Bring it. Oh, let's okay. keep going. What's up? This got tough. This got some of my animals got sniped. Come on, Rob. <laughs> we got some motivation. Bro, I have it even more. Oh, oh, here we go. We're going nuts. For right. They cannot wait. All right, here we go. Here we go. You're on your dream vacation in the Amazon, mm -hmm. and then uh, you go for a swim, right? And uh, nope. an anaconda comes up and bites you on the head <laughs> and wraps okay. you up, just not big enough to kill you, just big enough to, to wrap your arms up to where you can't swim and get it off you. Okay. Well, while that's, Fuck. While Fuck that's going, a, uh, you're skinny dipping, by the way, because you thought that was cool. Sure. And uh, your worm gets taken off by a, a black piranha. Wow. So now you're bleeding everywhere. 
Oh. Yeah. And then while you can't move, the six foot electric heel comes up and just falls in love with your taint and just starts shocking. Wow. Oh, Man, another, another oh, taint in the. Uh, yeah, double taint. I did, thing, yeah. Yeah. When I set this thing. up, I did not think it was going to be a double taint kind of episode, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to think of what uh, an electric mean, shock to the taint would feel like. I think no, it might, it might be feel fucking pleasant. great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it might feel it. Yeah, stimulate the prostate or something like that. You no. never know. By the way, you, you, you have five adults whose combined age is probably around 170 years old, and we've had two <laughs> taint references, and we're about to get another one. <laughs> Love it. Let's go, Papa P. Bring us home. Mine's real simple, and I'm going to win with my first bite. I'm going similar to Forrest, okay. except you're, you're taped to a wall standing up nude. Uh, the first bite <laughs> is going to be right to your, and you, we've taken a blow dryer to your testicles, so they're very hangy and they're very, very supple. Pendulous. Yeah, nice. a, human, a human adult is going to bite one of your testicles. Oh, come on. Are they come on. on. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, this is, was the game that oh, was created. It was. That's bad. You're just the, a that sick man. I guess second. that could be good, too. <laughs> yeah. No more man. The second human one. Adult. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified. The second one is a bombardier beetle is going to spray 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degree hot acid directly on to the, your uvula, the little hangy ball in the back good. of your throat. Ooh. That's that's Ooh. not gonna feel good. That's just gonna be annoying. It's gonna I be think nope, it's gonna good. suck. Mm. And then I'm gonna take the 1100 psi bite force to the foot, to the foot, the top of the foot of a hyena. Ooh, very simple, wow. very clean. Oh, that's crushed. Yeah. No, it's not gonna call. You, it's that's not gonna a, kill that's you. That's another mammal, yeah. though, sir. That's two mammals oh. you picked in your. Uh, two mammals. Yeah, that's against yeah. the rules. You can't have two mammals, sir. Oh huh? uh, yeah, that's huh? true. Why are you looking Fuck. at me strange? Pick another Fuck. animal. Well, Pick he's right. Animal. He's right. Yeah, I, I fucked that's that right. up. <laughs> oh, and now he's got to research. He's a DQ. No, I fucking, I was trying to figure out what the other <laughs> animal was. The human You know what? Let's let it hyena. slide. Let's let, let's it, let slide. it slide. Let's no, let, no, let him pick. Let's let it okay, slide. We're going to let no, it slide. Yeah. Right. And here's what's going to happen, okay? Uh, Robin Adam, we have this awesome guy named Dave, Dave Sunshine on Instagram, who does like mock-ups for, for Battle Royales. Usually it's like, huh, it's a hippo with a buffalo's head. I'm really curious to see how he draws <laughs> these guys up for us. Uh, yeah. But oh let me God. recap. So for, for the listeners, Dave's not going to draw these up. That's ins- that's porn. Um, <laughs> so let me uh, recap. So for tonight's Battle Royale, you have Forrest coming in with a stone scorpion fish to, fish to the foot, a giant centipede to the face, and a rat to the buttocks. Okay? Adam is bringing a male platypus into the fingers. Oof. A wandering spider into your peepee, which is going to make it stand up and not go down. <laughs> and then that a kandiru is going to swim up said peepee and put its spines in there. God, I was very weak Ooh. in my picks tonight. Um, Ratep is coming in next with a Gila monster to the nipple, a stingray barb to the taint, and a box jellyfish to the face. <laughs> Questionable as to whether or not you'll survive that. Rob has a, a lovely scenario where you're in the Amazon, you take an anaconda to the head, a piranha to the dick, and an electric eel zap to the taint, while Papa P brings us home with a human chomp on the nutsack, a bombardier beetle to the uvula, that's some hot acid in the throat, and a it's hyena smash to the uh, foot. So no this hyenas. is a hell of a battle royale. I hope we never do this one ever again. I don't oh, like the sound of any of this. Every episode. I love yeah. it. Brosners, weigh in. Let us know what you think. Let us know who won tonight's Battle Royale. Make sure you tune in to Kings of Pain on Snapchat, because apparently it's big there. It's also on the History Channel. Go and give Adam and Rob a follow. What are your socials, guys? Where do the people find you? Instagram is probably the one I use the most. It's just Adam underscore Thorn. Um, cool. Yeah, Instagram lot, as well. Lot, and cave. What's that? A lot of shirtless pics, Adam, or no? <laughs> oh. He does have a certain following. Yeah. There, okay. there are. <laughs> let, let's be honest. There are plenty. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Rob. What about you? No, good. And I'm Caveman Rob. Caveman R O B. Nice. Awesome. I, I could. Shirtless picks. There's some assless chaps somewhere in there. <laughs> Rob's also the only person I've ever seen who hand catches a paddlefish on his Instagram, which, by the way, that's quite a feat. So go and check that out. Check handles, out their socials. <laughs> they do come with handles. I just never considered picking them up like that. Um, and I will one day, Rob. I'm taking you up on that offer. We will do that oh, one yeah. day. Um, nice. Weigh in, Brosners. Let us know what you think. 
Ritep, you want to do the thing? Yeah. By the way, I, I just want to say real quick. I guess this not. is the twelve-year-old version of me. Like, I, I could have done a six-hour podcast with these guys. Uh, yeah, no question. It's super fun. The show's really, really fun. And actually, I think you know, no animals have ever been hurt. It's a fucking great show, and I think what you guys do is is unbelievably brave and super fucking cool. And I'm jealous. And I, if you do another season, I can I come to set, please. Yeah, that would be, <laughs> yeah, <that'd> be awesome. <laughs> that would be great. That'd be cool. <laughs> All right, right wrap it up. Yes, uh, if you just listen to this podcast because it automatically downloaded to your phone, go check it out on YouTube. You can find all the links to YouTube anywhere to listen to the podcast at thewildtimespodcast.com forward slash info. And uh, check out that Patreon where we release what? Four more episodes a month. A bunch of extra episodes that you can check out in addition to the free ones that come out on Monday. That is patreon.com forward slash wild times pod. Wild times pod for all the socials. Guys, I love you. Thanks, Adam and Rob and uh, Brosners. Love you too. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Mm. I'm going to drink three more fruit smash. Fall asleep at 8 p.m. Yeah, I, no problem. I have problem. to go tell my wife how much I drank during this podcast. Yeah, good, good. She, <laughs> yeah. she deserves to know.